Adaptive competition includes respecting the competitor, respecting the rules. Maladaptive competitors don't respect the competition, don't respect the rules. Well, you know, if you really understood my greatness, you would just give me the award, the medal, <laughs> the promotion. Uh, all of this competing nonsense, the the job interview, the presentation you want me to do, this is just ridiculous, a waste of my time. Just let me do this. And if that's your attitude, that you're entitled to the win, then you absolutely don't respect the rules. You don't respect the competition. And that gives you permission to break the rules. That gives you permission to say, well, I'm entitled to win. If I'm entitled to win and I was going to win anyway, then it doesn't matter how I get here, does it? That then gives you this approval that you can actually really, you know, hurt people and be unethical. And, you know, right again, that may win on the day, but over time, your reputation is that you're not trustworthy, that you're not respectful, that you're going to cheat, and no one wants to work with that person. So the maladaptive competitor is going to succeed by finding new pools of competition because they can't stay in the one they've got because nobody wants to deal with them after the first one or two. So I think that's really important. And again, you're absolutely right. The adaptive competitor picks and chooses when they're going to compete, realizes they can let something go that's not important. They enjoy it. It's fun for them as opposed to the maladaptive competitor. And I don't think they enjoy competition because again, it's a blood sport and they have to win every time. It's do or die. And again, you can't learn from that. Looking at you know research with a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. A growth mindset's focusing on improvement over time. A fixed mindset is I'm this good, period. If you're a maladaptive competitor with a fixed mindset, you can't learn from experience. You can't learn from growth. You can't learn from anything else because every time you lose, you've proven to the other people and yourself that you're not as good as you thought you were. So the stakes are just untenable. Human beings need to be human growings. We have to be able to give ourselves that room to improve that the maladaptive competitor just can't do. Combining all of these thoughts in terms of the, the myth idea and the maladaptive and the adaptive, we only say, you know, it's not if you won or lost, it's how you played the game to the person who lost right? We only care about our character. Lo loss is character building. Winning is never character building. That's wrong. It should be character building because again, you should be focusing on what did you do right? What did you do wrong? What was dumb luck? So I, I think that you know all of that fits together. And maybe this is something the next time those people are freaking out about competition is good. I think it's a false choice between competition and cooperation. And the reason is because competition, we're thinking that again, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. But I can have a team compete together collaboratively to beat the other team. Even as I was saying, you know, I kept saying in terms of the, the good competitor is following the rules of the road. So that means that in some ways I'm competing against, I'm collaborating with my direct competitor because we've both agreed what the appropriate behaviors here are. So I think that people put them as these dichotomies and they're not really dichotomies. It's more about that unhealthy blood sport versus playing in a level playing field. We all agree and we all wanna do the best for each other. And what we're doing is really focusing on my improvement rather than taking you out. And actually the difference between those two things actually changes brain function. Because when you're thinking about how I want to do something, that's about the parts of the brain that are thinking about self-image. When you're thinking about taking somebody out, that's about fear and other aggression elements that aren't in that self-image mode. What I think is sort of a misconception or difficult for people to realize is that the maladaptive competitor actually has a really strong fear of failure, which is why they will flout the rules. They will compete on things that aren't agreed upon. They will try to force everything into a competition so they can reach a win at some point because they're afraid of a future loss or something else where they won't be able to be that winner in their mind.